welcome back to Auntie's Creative Studio. Today we are going to do some art. And um, I'm trying to learn uh, how to draw and colored pencils and all kinds of stuff. Fun stuff. And I'm just going to take you all along with me on the journey of this. And um, I've got tracing paper and it's just the Master Touch. I found it on clearance the other day. Tracing paper to me is tracing paper. And I'm using, I got a, what you call a tea, a tea riddle. Or a carpenter's tea, but I got it from Hobby Lobby, so I buy a lot of stuff from Hobby Lobby. And I printed this from um, Unsplash. And I will try to link the video, the picture down below if I don't forget. But I am just going to draw, or well, I'm going to try, and I've tried to draw this two or three times and I just can't get it for some odd reason. But I am just going to draw the coffee cup today. And like I said, I am, I am trying to learn and I'm trying not to trace stuff, but Every now and then, you just got to do what the eat. I mean, I just can't get it. So I'm thinking if I trace it and do it, I might be able to figure it out. And I'm sorry about all the clutter on my desk. I'm trying to do too much. But anyways, what's new? And I am using a General Pencil Cup from Kimberly, a 6 H. It's for graphite drawing. And it's got a pretty good point. I do like a sharp point on my pencils. And I am just tracing what I think I may need. Sometimes tracing does help. It does help your drawing skills. I have figured this out. And I'm going to take I'm going to draw this saucer also. And I'm just using a half sheet of uh, tracing paper. And then I am just going to draw the board. What is it? I call it the table. And I'm just going in, drawing. Okay, I've got that drawn or traced as now, and I'm just going to use a small sketch pad, and I am just going to use the sketch diary from Pen and Gear. I buy these at Walmart. These is less than two bucks a piece. They've got seventy sheets. 
and this one's five and a half by eight and a half i've got the nine by twelve i think it is but i do like paper for um pencil eight and a half by eleven this is regular sheets <coughs> and um i'm just going to use this today and you can see some of my drawings I about got this one used cap. But that's fine. That's all good. I am going to put tape around this while I'm not going on the edges. And when I get down, I'll have a nice white border. And uh, I'm just using regular mas masking tape. And I'm sticking it to my clothes before I stick it to my paper. And I am just going to stick it right against the dotted line. This one's got the dotted line. Am I? And we are on MeWe. As Angie's Creative Studio. And so if you want to join us on MeWe. Feel free to do it. And that's what keeps on dinging on the computer. Is MeWe. Um, follow me. I am posting, I think like I'm posting more on MeWe than I've been on Facebook lately. Um, my phone just went off. Okay, now, I'm going to try to center this. I'm going to use a piece of scotch tape on the, on the tracing paper just to hang, hold it down. And... Yeah, I gotta find some common paper. And this is old. I mean, this is old, old stuff. But it works great. And I'm going to take a red pencil, and this is a Crayola erasable. And I'm just going around tracing what I've already traced. And you don't have to do all this. I just like to, I don't like to mess up my photos because I do use them as reference a lot of times. Like I said, this is just me learning and going along with, I'm teaching y'all what I'm, I'm learning. Um, I'm, uh, I'm enjoying learning more about drawing. Uh, I've been using, um, a couple books that I got from the library that I really like. Um, couldn't find them. I mean, I can't find two of them. I found one of them. And I ordered it. I'm waiting on it to come in. It's uh, on colored pencils. But those are um, image. And um, we are going to do this in sections. I do believe we're going to do so you'll have to come back tomorrow for the next uh, section and we'll catch you later have a blessed day 
enjoy drawing, learning to draw. Like I said, you can trace anything with tracing paper or just carbon paper and paper and a pencil. I mean, you can trace anything. But work on your uh, freehand drawing. Um, I'll show. Uh, let me find which book that's in. That I've done. This ain't it. Let's do the other one like this. Uh, maybe the camera ain't gonna fall. I mean, that's a free hand. That's a free hand. Uh, I'm not great. I mean, I promise you. There's a squaw that I tried to do free-handed. I know it don't look like nothing like a squaw. This was free-handed. That's free-handed. Here's a hummingbird that I free-handed. Uh, we ain't looking at that one. And here's a painting. This is a watercolor painting that and colored pencils that I did freehand. So, and like I said, I am just learning freehand. And um, I will um, go through. We may have a sketchbook turn on one day. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this short little video. Give us a thumbs up. Say hello to us in comments, and we'll catch you later. And the um, reference is over on the blog at uh, Angie's Creative Studio at uh, blogs blogger dot com. Have a blessed day. Bye.